Hi everyone! In honor of back to school, I'm making bug accessories! I think this hat is bugged. I have kind of a weird obsession with bugs. I ate a spider once, on purpose. Bugs make me think of science, science makes me think of school, and boom, back to school episode. I also really covet the hat Helen Hunt wore in Girls Just Wanna Have Fun, so I decided I need a hat with a bug on it. It's an easy project, and I'm really digging how they all turned out. Let's get started. I like to do the robot when we get started doing a project. I got this bag of bugs from the dollar store for a um, dollar. Then I spray painted them gold on both sides. While they were drying, I smashed the pop part off the ring part with a hammer. I'm sure you can eat it off also, but I'm not a fan of that method. Then I used my craft scissors to cut the edges down and cut off the protruding middle part. For the protruding middle part, you kind of want to use your scissors as a saw and kind of put pressure on closing them and sawing at the same time, if that makes any sense. But it works pretty well, I was surprised. Next, I carefully used a lighter to melt down and smooth all the edges a bit. The ladybug told me she really wanted to be the ring, so I glued the ring part to its belly with E6000 glue and let it dry completely. Then I used crystals to bling it out a bit. To do this, use a toothpick and get a wee bit of glue on the end, then pick up the crystal with the toothpick and stick it where you want it on your little bug creature. After I reached my desired blinginess, I colored in all the spots with a lime green paint marker. I also added some crystals to the underside to disguise where the ring meets the belly. I really like that little hidden bling factor there. Hello, ladybug ring. You are my new friend. But I don't want to be your friend. I said you're my new friend. Next, I added crystals to the flutterby and glued it to a thumb drive. I bugged out a pen cap and turned my fancy stationary box into an even fancier stationary box with a magical frog. I added a bug to a scrap of leather to make a bookmark and added safety pins to the underside of two bugs with a bit of glue and a bit of felt so I can wear them on different things like a bag or a hat or my shirt collar. So many possibilities. I am so ready for back to school. But I probably wouldn't use all of these things all at one time. People might think you're a little crazy. But if you want to wear all your bug accessories all at one time, you just go ahead and do it. You only live once. YOLO. Hashtag. Hashtag YOLO. Haters are going to hate no matter what. You know what you say to those haters? Stop bugging me. Why don't you just go bug somebody else? You're probably like, Corinne, um, I don't need fancy stationery for back to school, but I'm bringing love letters and letter writing up a notch. Wouldn't it be so cute to give your friend a little letter like this? It would be very difficult for the teacher to be like, rip up that letter because you did it on the most amazing stationery ever. You're like, teacher, I have to give them this letter. It's a special little letter. This is how we pass notes in class. With class. Oh, boom! I also think it would be a really cute little gift. And who's gonna want to borrow your pen with a big bug on it? Not many people. This is a great way to keep your pens around. And if someone does borrow it, you'll be like, hey, that's my pen. Give it back. I know I'm the only one that has a big bug on their pen. Alright, so Halloween's coming up soon and I need some costume ideas. So leave a little comment below telling me what costumes you want to see made this year. And I'll try my best at making them. Well, that's it for this week. It's time for me to go spend some quality time with my little ladybug friend. We'll see you later.